All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a Railblazer Scotty or similar flush mount rod holder for your kayak or small boat into a track mounted rod holder. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the parts I'm going to be using in the project. This is a poly cutting board that you can get at any of the inexpensive box stores. Then I'm also going to be using this Fulton 10 pack of knobs, bolts, and washers, and they are threaded at 1 quarter by 20. And this is the knob that it comes with. And I'm going to replace the bolts that it came with with this stainless steel bolt along with a stainless steel 1 quarter 20 wing nut and a washer. Then the other thing you're going to need is some toilet bowl bolts or you can also use closet bolts and they're brass and they look like this and they are threaded at 1 quarter by 20 and they have a thinner bottom that this will probably work better on a pre-existing track that's already on a kayak. Then I'm going to be using a Scotty mount, a Railblaza Starport rectangular mount, and a Railblaza circular mount. And then finally, I have this T-Track that I got. It's aluminum. Let me just get it up on the end here. And you would use this if you already don't have track on your kayak or your boat. And what's good about this is that it will take an unaltered one quarter by 20 stainless bolt and it just slides right in there so you don't have to do anything. And then also you still have the choice of using the toilet or closet bolt because that will slide in there as well. And I will list all these parts in the narrative section of this video and if I have a link to a specific part, I'll include that as well. These are two of the Railblaza Starport rod holder mounts that I'm going to be using in this project. The first one is just the circular one here, which is very easy to convert over to track mount because you already have two existing holes that you can put your new attachments through. Now the other one I'm going to be using is this rectangular version and on the back side here, Railblaza actually molded out two holes that you just run a quarter inch drill through and it will pop out through the top here and then you can mount your attachment hardware for your track mounts through them. Now it's much less expensive to do it yourself, although you can buy just the bolt kits or you can buy the full mount kit that's been converted over already. I went ahead and drilled the holes through the rectangular starport mount and put the attachment bolts through there because it's pretty self-explanatory and I wanted to save some time. So this is what it looks like using your hex head bolt through here and I've got a wing nut and washer on it and on this side if you decide to use the toilet bowl or the closet bolt that works better with standard track mounts already on a kayak or a bolt and again I use the wing nut and a washer and the reason for using the wing nuts on this this knob right here is too big and it interferes here on the side of the mount so you won't be able to fasten it all the way down unless of course you use spacers and then once you figure out what the optimum length is of your bolts just go ahead and cut them off because you won't need the excess Now for the Scotty mount or an Atwood mount or something similar 
what you're going to do is get a piece of inexpensive poly cutting board that you can find at Walmart or pick and save or someplace like that. And then you're going to cut it into a rectangle, making sure that it's wide enough for your mount to fit onto, like this. Once you have that, you're going to use four screws and attach your mount into the rectangular piece of poly cutting board. And then when that's secured, you're going to drill out two holes on either side of this, and this is going to serve as the base that's going to connect into your track mount. To save time, I already attached the Scotty mount to the poly cutting board, drilled out the two holes, and put the attachments through. And as you can see here, you've got your hex head bolt with your wing nut and washer. And then on the other side, you have the choice of your closet or toilet bolt along with a washer and the tightening knob. This is the finished product when you install all these mounts on your aluminum track. Here I use the washers with the wing nuts. Here I use washers and I ended up using just a standard stainless steel nut because it actually did fit better than the wing nut. And then here you can see I'm using the threaded knob. And that shows how it'll look if you decide to use this track or if you end up using the track that's already on your boat. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.